Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Sandbox Monday stream. It's a little, it's, I don't think we've ever streamed on a Monday before. It's a little weird. All right, well, this okay. Is madness. Maybe, maybe during one of the, uh, the alpha seasons when we were, uh, at audio up. Am I already too quiet? Ah, there we go. Is that better? How's that? They're wearing black. I'm wearing a Sandbox shirt, actually. Like, I couldn't. Ooh, show it off. Yeah, it's got, it's, it says Sandbox on it, and it's got Sandbox across the back. Yeah. We, I picked this up in Canada. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. That and, that and COVID. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you had a fun trip. <laughs> I got COVID, and all I got was a stupid shirt. Uh, no, actually, this is, this is a really comfy shirt. It's a really nice polo. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, anyway. We're doing a Monday stream because uh, we were going to do the Star Atlas Game Jam Awards, and uh, I just can't seem to stay not sick for more than a week. So uh, Saturday was just a no-go. It was no bueno. Uh, but we're going to do the Star Atlas Game Jam Awards today on this unusual Monday stream. Uh, I am Alex Flores, a.k.a. Kamisazi, joined here in voice, mind, body, and soul by Lucas Is Right. How you doing, Lucas? I'm amazing today. How are you, Alex? I'm doing pretty good How are you feeling? Monday. I'm I'm feeling a lot better. Yeah, it was just it was like a Saturday, just you know, just being a Saturday. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do that, but we got a few announcements before we get started on that. First of all, if you've been paying attention on Twitter, uh, we've got a new hat for Hall. Uh, I almost said Halloween. <laughs> For Valentine's Day. <laughs> same, basically the same thing. It's basically the same thing. They're, they're both a, a, a celebration of love. Sure. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, we've got Matchmaker's Bewitching Hat. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a little beating heart here. Let's see if you zoom in. I didn't know the heart was beating. Yeah. That's a nice little touch. And this is actually designed by Julia. Julia came up with the the sketch for this. She had more hearts in the original, and I, I toned it down. But it's basically true to her her design idea. And uh, yeah, so credit to Julia for for coming up with this idea. She's and, so smart. Uh, uh, credit to Joe for the initial idea. I think Julia for the sketch and Panda for the name. Joe and and Panda were kind of riffing ideas off. And and uh, uh, Panda came up with Bewitching, and we're like, ooh, yes, that's that's a good name. So uh, there's 50 of these minted. Uh, 40 of these are going for sale in just 18 minutes. Mm. Uh, so I believe that's uh, 20, 30 UTC, I think. 20 minutes from now, less than 20 minutes from now. 40 of these are going for sale. For a hundred sand, it's a hundred and five sand after the five percent sand tax, plus gas, all on layer one. So if you need to move, if you want this and you need that, there's no not on Polygon, Doctor Metaverso. You will know, you will know when we have assets on Polygon. <laughs> we will not be quiet about it. It'll be we'll be screaming it from the rooftops. Hmm. Uh, so if you squint, you can see Alex with the hat on. Can we? <laughs> <laughs> There you go. How, how's that? Oh, I got to turn. There we go. That's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Looks very jaunty. Oh, I turned the wrong way. It's weird because it's uh, the it's the the mirroring is strange for me to do that. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, no assets on Polygon yet. The only things that are on Polygon are most of the avatar collections and land. Uh, the exception for avatars is ones that were assets that unlocked an avatar, uh, like the Lady Pixie stuff, um, Panda's avatar, uh, some of the other other assets that have unlocked a, a avatar. Uh, those ones are on layer one because they're assets. Um, can you answer questions about the Rabbit's avatar mint? I I don't really know anything about the Rabbit's avatar mint. You can ask a question. What network and price? Well, all of our avatars are minted on Polygon. That is, that's, that's for everything. Um, mm -hmm. So av avatars are always going to be on Polygon unless we get a new network 
in 10 years or something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what the, what plans lie beyond that, but that the, the avatars since Snoop Dogg, right? Snoop Dogg was our first avatar collection, right? And that was on Polygon. I, th I thought I thought that one was on ETH, and then everything went after it was on Polygon. But either way, they're on Polygon now. Was Snoop on ETH? I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, it's been like nine million years. It in Metaverse time, yes, it has been. Uh, but yes, all all avatars since a, a while ago. Oh, that's right. Care Bears was the first on Polygon. Oh, okay. Wow, that was more recent. For some reason, I thought it was longer ago. Um, so, so we are only making, uh, I could be wrong. Somebody could have changed something without telling me, but what I was told when Care Bears came around was that all avatars are going to be on Polygon now. Um, and every, the, the company policy for the sandbox is every new project that we're working on now is going to be on Polygon. The thing is with, uh, assets, if that's not a new project, assets have been around and assets are, are not on Polygon yet. But they will be, and it will be very loud when it happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you can also always... I, I can't put, put these for sale before they're minted, so you can always look these up on, on um, OpenSea. So you can always go to OpenSea and see that it's on Layer 1, because it'll have the little ETH logo instead of the Polygon logo. See what you're saying? Um... One of the blue names on Discord said ETH. Um, I'm hoping they were just confused too, because that would be a surprise if it was on ETH. I don't know why it would be on ETH. Um, can't, uh, Kristen, you, you have access to my DMs. Can you let me know which person said that, and I can talk to them and make sure that we're straight? It should be Polygon. Uh, usually it says on... Have these been announced on the website? The Rabbids? Yeah. I believe there, they have. Is there a Rabbids page? One moment. I'm on the Sandbox page right now. I will scroll through. I know there was an announcement recently for them. While I'm looking for this, do you want to talk about the land sale that's coming up? There is a land sale coming up. Uh... Voxel Madness. Yeah, where is... Where are Just all the articles? <laughs> <laughs> I can't find anything today for some reason. I, I just wanted to uh, point out one thing really quick. In this voxel madness land sale, if you look at the very center of this land sale map, you will see a giant invincible logo. And that makes me very, very happy. And directly below that is a giant ledger logo. So it's like, and two beneath of my that is things are just giant dungeon siege logo i mean just everything it's just yeah. everything i'm so Dun happy right now D dungeon siege is a square enix ip fyi for those who didn't know uh, really so, yeah yeah dungeon siege is published by square enix so uh when we talk about square enix you know having a big stake in sand uh and now they they actually have content with us as well because there's been dungeon siege assets and and plans for stuff so wait 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 hold up for a second square enix they did kingdom hearts correct yes okay okay <laughs> where where are you going with that <laughs> it just it's, it is hands down my wife's favorite franchise oh, okay like that, like amalgamation of franchises and if i can you know be like hey square enix and sandbox they're pretty sure. buddy buddy i i it, she'll be a, she'll be just a little more on board with everything i do here Square Enix was one of uh, the Sandbox's earliest investors and and probably the biggest game IP investor at, before Ubisoft. That's amazing. I don't Shouldn't be I, surprised. I, I think Ubisoft is bigger than Square Enix, but I'm not I'm not sure. I don't really pay attention to the the market aspects of it, but um those are two very big names in gaming, so. Uh yeah, so Dungeon Siege, very cool to see that in there. We've also got uh Voxies Cut the Rope. Um Habo Hotel. That's like a like an OG metaverse. Mm. So yeah, I love these little these little mockups. These little these little dioramas. They're so cute. They are pretty cool. Um 
Ledger, Cut the Rope, Mad Balls. That's uh that's from the eighties, isn't it? I think. It was kind of like uh it was like a collectible thing like garbage pail kids and stuff. It might not be that old. Oh no, yeah, it says right there, eighties mad balls. Um, oh my god. I used to love mad balls. Yeah. Like those were the ones you'd buy in like the 25, 50 cent machines. And then you put them in water and they could like, some of them would expand, but you could also buy them at like Spencer's and whatnot. And they were just, you could squeeze them and they would squish out. Probably. Or, or my incorrect uh, my memory here. Pretty, <laughs> candidly, Kristen says, pretty sure Paris Hilton is the biggest at this point. I didn't realize that Paris Hilton was a gaming brand. I mean, she's done stuff with us and stuff with, uh, with, um, uh, I think Roblox and, and other other stuff, but she's an everything brand. <laughs> but I don't I don't think Paris Hilton is a game studio specifically or a game publisher, which is what I meant. Anyway. All fair. All fair points. She's slimming, whatever it is. Um Voxies, uh, which is super cute. I don't know if you've ever checked out Voxies. I, I haven't played it, but it's like a it's like a tactics strategy game kind of thing, but it's all voxel art. It's really adorable, adorable looking. Um, <clears throat> Dogami Playground Studios. I'm not familiar with Playground Studios. Hermit Crab Studios. I am sort of familiar with them. Oh, they did Sportsland. Uh, Alien Worlds, Tap Nation, and Congregate. Uh, Congregate is an old school like flash game site i mean they they do different stuff now uh but yeah this is the youtube of video gaming so i remember playing games on congregate all the time in like high school and stuff and that was i was on dial up so it took forever for them to download but uh uh congregate had a lot of like uh flash and shockwave kind of games um that was that was a uh, a place that i would go a lot uh, for, for that kind of stuff and um that link is blocked what does that mean mm -hmm. oh wait maybe because it's... yeah the link I, I added in i didn't have the full link to it so it's just coming through as non-clickable <laughs> it ain't no cool math games.com though i i suppose although i've actually i had actually used congregate i never went to cool math games.com when i was a kid i didn't I, I was homeschooled, so I only had limited knowledge of the cool stuff. Anyway, uh, Congregate is just, I think it's its funny that it's at the bottom of the list here, but it's one of the more recognizable names for me. Um, I actually got to meet somebody from Congregate when we were in, in Canada, which is pretty cool. Um, all right. So that's uh, starting on February 14th. That's tomorrow. The raffle starts uh, February 14th, 3 p.m. UTC. Uh, to February 20th, 3 a.m. UTC. That's the sign-up period. Raffle results will be on February 21st at 11 a.m. UTC. Land sale for allow list users is going to be on the 21st, uh, an hour later. And last chance auctions for everyone will be from February 22nd to February 23rd at 3 p.m. UTC. So check that out. Um, that's the Rabbids link what's going on with the rabbits so it's just people don't have an access to it yet so i think it's a it, the, the link was given out on the rabbits page but it doesn't look like people have access to it yet so just bookmark it for later and when it goes live you'll have that saved and you'll know exactly where to go maybe maybe i can spill some beans mm. let's see let's see if i let's see if i can do something i'm not supposed to nope doesn't work for me either <laughs> i was thinking with my admin account maybe it would load for me but any news on a possible snoop season it's more than possible it's been basically announced for a year now just not uh the the date isn't published yet um but i i can tell you that it's on its way that's all i can say Ooh, uh, can we, uh, can we, while well, we're in our news section, can we talk about, I want to make sure we add two other things. Uh, 
Paris Hilton has two experiences that, you know, uh, were dropped today that went live today. Mm -hmm. Um, since Candidly's talking about that, I figured something we could jump into. And also the world letter that Seb tweeted about. I'd really like to put a spotlight on that as well. Is that the one that's in Lululand? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look at that. I I do want to give people the link to the um to the hat real quick, because that's gonna go oh, live yeah, in five yeah. minutes. <laughs> Please and uh, thank you. Da, 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 da. Matchmaker. Matchmaker. I don't have the rights to sing this song, but it's a parody, so I have to deal with it. All right, there's the link to the hat if you want to pick that up. And we are giving away five of these on the stream today as well. So if you want a special pink hat and you don't have the sand, make sure to uh, to join in on the giveaway form. Um, how about we drop that form now? So you want to that do it now? way. Let's do it now because some people may buy if they know that they don't win and may. I see what you're saying. Yeah. They may want to know if they or... win or not before they, before they buy one. So, uh, so we'll, we'll leave the form open and hopefully there will be some left by the time we're done with the giveaway form. Um, all right. That form just dropped in the chat. So go ahead. This is open for everybody because, uh, nobody's gotten these before. Uh, just a note, this animation doesn't currently show up in 0 0.8. It does work in 0 0.7. There is some oddity. It seems like animations work on swords, but not on other equipment in 0 0.8. So it's some sort of bug that needs to get ironed out. But the animation is working in 0 0.7, so it should work in 0 0.8 in the future. Also, look at this roll. Got max luck and, and just too short of max magic. I'm very happy with that role. I have no way of controlling that role. All I could do is maybe like I could burn and remint, but I did not do that. You can check my my wallet if you want to be sure. Um, yeah, just on the first try. I was really happy with that role. And it is 105 sand. It's listed for 100 sand, and there's the 5% sand tax, which helps fund various sandbox projects. Um, all right, so let's go back to the Paris Hilton stuff. So we've got Paris okay. Land. Being a little slow. Let's go. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. It was working earlier today. Hey, there it goes. All right. Uh, so we've got two Parasilton experiences. Oh, they've got nice little pink borders, so you can find them. Actually, I like that we can have different borders on these things. I think that it's it helps out a lot. I noticed that in one of the yeah. last uh, like events, it was that you could see which experience or which event you were participating in by just the color of the border. Yeah. So um, we've got a two by two um, single player where you can enter a reality show set on a beautiful tropical island, feed sharks, find true love, and go on epic quests with your soulmate. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a social hub, Paris Land Club. Follow the butterflies and enjoy Paris Land Club's tropical vibes. Love isn't always easy, but reach the top of the giant heart and you'll earn a sweet reward. Come dance the night away with Paris and her... Oh. We lost the last word. Dogs, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> it got it got truncated there. It's um, left up to the imagination. <laughs> so uh so as far as the event goes, um this just takes us to the map. It doesn't tell us much about the event. Maybe if we click on earn here, it'll give us more info. Here we go. Oh, the February festival. Complete 200 quests of any exp of any experience during the February festival to win a mystery box with a total prize pool value up to 500,000 sand. That's that's more than a quarter million dollars. <laughs> uh, well, that's the prize pool, so it's not one person winning that. Exactly, that's, that's yeah. the prize pool. Um, so uh, I was like, what? <laughs> You're like, I, I, I'm gonna enter. <laughs> um. So that includes the other the other stuff on the map right now. So we've got 
the uh, Meta Chinatown and all the other uh, Lunar New Year things, which are still, that event's still going on until the 28th, I believe, right? Right? Yes. Yeah. One second, I'm pulling up the play. Uh, you're talking about the Paris event? Paris no, the, the Lunar New Year stuff. Oh, the Lunar New Year sure. stuff. Yeah, that goes till the 28th, February okay. 28th. Uh, there's also uh, Metagreen and the Boys Planet stuff. I have not checked that out yet. And then we've got the World Letter with Lululand. Um, so I saw this. Uh, do we have the, the? Do you have the link to the tweet on that? I do. Give me one second. I'll pull that right back up. It is cool. right. There we go. I lost it. Well, I found so I this one. This is the same oh. experience that they had in season three, I believe. But they've added this really cool, like like a rainbow road kind of, but with um with a bunch of letters on it and it's dropping it's, that uh, tweet in chat now there we go this is the one from sebastian so much news today there's a lot of news today and you have a thing that you want to talk about too yeah we could get to that when we're, we're, we're done with all this so uh, sebastian said we're proud to expand the world letter a living art piece with 24,000 contributors across 144 countries 550 meters long into the metaverse i met uh, I am Coco Van at PAWA conference in Paris in October, and happy this crazy idea came to life with her in Lululand World. Um, so they've got this really long letter that they've been writing, and is there the video link for it? I saw I saw a video of it. I don't know where it is. Is it in the but you can. Land? It's in it's in Lululand. Uh, oh, oh, you, you mean in their? Um, it might be in their tweets. Let's see. Yeah. Well, they did a they did a, a Seb did a, a half hour live stream with. Uh, they did a little Van. AMA with Coco Van and mm -hmm. Coco Vaughn. I don't want to butcher that, but I think I did. I I don't know. Um, but let's see if we can find. Video. Well, I think they kind of had it running in the background here. You can kind of see it behind them uh, at some point here. There we go. So, I mean, you can check this out for yourself, but uh, if you go up into the, uh, the hotel area, uh, you can run along this path, and you can actually read these things if you zoom in. Really? So the, yeah, they're like they're they're images that have been uh, framed into it. So, oh, that's so cool. Still not live. What's still not live? Oh, the the hat sale still not live. It sh it should be live now. I would make sure to refresh. I'll check on it in just a second here. Uh, but yeah, you can see uh, like people made drawings. Uh, it's all like you know handwritten notes, and they've actually put the images. Uh, on the path here. It's really cool. Uh, Found the video and I dropped it in the chat. This is a, that a is closer view. Really cool. Ah. Yeah, it's just a straight up view of it all. That is. That's awesome. That's a really cool concept. <laughs> D Electronic says it says sold out with one owner. You rugged us. You pre-rugged us, so, Alex. You devious fiend, you. That's um, that's a little UI UX issue that we're trying to figure out the best way to to address. Um, with the exception of the golden Wizzy, all of the Wizzy content has been minted on my wallet. Mm. Um, but because this is for the council. I'm doing the sale through the council account. So as soon as I minted it, I transferred all of it to the council, which is why it says sold out because it's not being sold by me. Um, and that way everything is in the council wallet and and I actually do a profit share with my employees. So uh, because Julia, Conrad, and Pan, or not Con uh, Julia, Joe, and Panda all contributed to the creation of that hat, uh, they all get to to share in the um, in the profits from that. You're um, such a good human being. 
So, well, it's uh, this is this, this is the, the web three that we want, right? Where it people, is. people get credit for their work and um, you know compensated for it. So, anyway, it's it's crazy concept, but it's wonderful. It's wild. So anyway, uh, that's why it says sold out, but it's uh, probably not actually sold out. I mean, it, it could be. It wouldn't be the first time we've sold something out in five minutes. Um, let's see. What was your announcement, Lucas, now that we've gotten oh. through the various news? Let me pull that up really quick. Uh, my team, Voxel Ocean, uh, we've got a project we've been working on with the Game Makers Fund, and uh, we dropped one of our first teaser trailers on Twitter today, and uh, just really excited about it, wanted to share. It's, there's a lot more to come down the road, but this is, like a, this is a first step in a really big direction for us, and we're happy, and I just wanted to share. Shout out to Lulalove9 in, over on Twitch. She has been instrumental in helping us get to this point and i just i couldn't be happier with my team right now we've we've all been pulling late nights and working really hard and it seems like things are really coming together as of late oh, drop the uh, link for the sorry i was getting voices from somewhere <laughs> and the, the video no, no, it was the video with Seb. I had turned on the audio for the browser for, for your video, and I didn't realize that the other video was still playing in the background. Gotcha. Um, all right, we'll watch, we'll watch this video real quick with the audio on. It's so vibrant and like full of life. Yeah, I, uh, we don't have any formal graphic designers on the team. And uh, I feel like we still like, uh, we crushed it on this one. <laughs> I'm really, I'm like I said, I'm no false modesty here. I feel like we crushed it. Yeah, no, it looks really uh, like, I like how uh, textured it is. Yeah. Shout out to, uh, like I said, Lula, but also Sanzus on this one. He he was a majority of this, and from the animation to the actual video itself, it's just really excited to see things like this kind of come together. We got spooky spider mummy things. Oh, so when you the see slime. Those in the oh, game, I saw the slime earlier. The the ravenous jelly. Ravenous uh, jelly. It's uh, that was a work by Ghost of Mars, and this thing is just so far beyond epic. I can't. It, I don't know it how looks that guy really does good. It does. Uh, I yeah. think I retweeted it earlier. Batman says, "I want jelly." We'll see what we can do. Did I not retweet it? I think you did. I don't see it. Maybe I re so so I've been getting a lot of notifications from the council account <laughs> and sometimes like when I open it up on my phone, it logs into that account automatically. Uh, uh, so I might have accidentally retweeted it on this one while well, just like mindlessly scrolling. Um, it happens or not. I don't I thought I retweeted. Maybe I just liked it. I don't know, but you could see it in the video, though. It looks really good. Thanks, um, man. Okay. I don't know why the sale isn't live. I said, what's what's uh, what's 2030 UTC? That's like eight minutes ago, right? I will tell you. Did I put the uh, wrong thing? UTC. Uh, 24 hours. 2030. Hmm. Oh, I'm looking at Moscow time. One second. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as one does. Right. Yeah, that was a few minutes ago. Okay. Um, there is a way, I don't remember how, uh, for me to see... Uh, what? Uh, 
Um, <laughs> I thought I put the right date. So um, we should get on to the Game Jam Awards, which is the point of this stream. <laughs> if anybody notices that the sale goes live, can you please start shouting it in? Uh, oh, we lost Lucas's video. Lucas was laughing so hard he disconnected. Hey, where'd you go? I, I don't know. I got... <laughs> You, you were just you were laughing like at the top of your lungs and then just disconnected <laughs> was that Where, on my end you you weren't in the call you disappeared one second turning back on my camera <laughs> and he's back hey everyone lucas, lucas laughed himself into oblivion <laughs> it's happened before it will happen again i'm gonna, I'm gonna there we go um <laughs> all Sorry right so no it's fine it was hilarious uh right we are gonna pull up the star atlas game jam rules because they were a little different this time oh, um bye. this is one of the reasons things got a little bit delayed uh we just had to clear up some stuff because this uh contest was run differently than the way we were used to running it so uh it caused some confusion but i think we're all we're all back in the right place now. Um, so if anybody notices that that sale goes live, please start shouting in the chat so everybody knows. And we will. <laughs> uh, and then if it's not live by the time we're done with the Game Jam Awards, then we will. I will look some stuff up and try to see what's going on with it. Um, Hat is going for 105 sand. It's technically 100 sand, but the sandbox puts a 5% thing on that which helps fund the ecosystem um <clears throat> all right so uh star atlas game jam i'm excited for this one i'm excited for all of them i don't know what i'm talking about it's uh 30, sand and star atlas prizes will be split among the top entries with judges selecting one winner from each of the following categories uh best overall idea Best game design, most creative slash unique, and best use of Star Atlas lore. Uh, each gets 7,500 sand, plus three game keys, plus three Fimble air bikes, and three Fimble lobies. Now, I I don't know. I mean, I, I can guess what an air bike is. I don't know what a lobie is, but you might want to talk to Joe because I'm sure he can tell you all about it. He's been getting very, and Panda, both of them have been getting very into Star Atlas. Um, it looks very cool. I want to get into it. I've just been so busy. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm FOMOing a little bit. Um, uh, but uh, I do know that you can like stake these vehicles and passively earn, I think it's called Atlas, the Star Atlas, uh, coin um and there's two coins for that game and they atlas is one of them and it's it's on the solana chain um mm -hmm. i know that um so i think conrad and conrad could also tell you about this uh conrad's at a point where i think he's earning like passively like two dollars a day at least uh with all the things he has staked at which is basically the price of like one of the smaller vehicles so he just like buys a new vehicle every day and adds it to a staking pool. <laughs> nice. Um so uh anyway, um we are going to uh to announce the winners now. Oh. So fast. And uh, yeah, so normally we do like the top 10 in a random order and then we do third place, second place and we play first place. Uh this this was set up differently. Um so uh, we're just gonna announce each of the winners, and um, and we we've got we've got little videos produced for each of them by Haftork. So thank you, Haftork, for setting those up. Nice. Um, we're gonna whoop hide the ah. What did I do? <laughs> I don't know how you flipped yourself onto the side like that, but that's pretty wonderful. So. <laughs> So that was my my no desktop screen where I hide everything, which I mm. haven't used in a while. <laughs> and uh, my webcam sideways right now because I got a different monitor and the, where the webcam fits is different. And so my webcam's just rotated right now. Um, so, <laughs> uh, 
so we're just gonna forget about that entirely <laughs> and we're gonna go with <laughs> what order do we want to do these in we're gonna go best overall will be last all right so announcing the best lore in the star atlas game jam This goes to Mission to Iris by DDD3. That's a familiar name. Oh, I thought Mission to Iris was the name of the person who created it. I was confused for a second there. No, DDD3. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love this starry background that they've got going on. There's like swirling stars in the distance. All right. Next, we've got best game design. This goes to Exodus by RBX2. Wow, that's really cool looking. This has got some really interesting, uh, uh, like, use of of the graphics you'll you'll see Ye yeah i love how the floor has like hexagons all over it mm -hmm. we've got a shooting mechanic here and like look at this we've got oh oh no you can't see it wait 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 we're gonna rewind we're gonna rewind we're gonna hide i'm in front of everything again i i need to this is this is why i use that other screen but uh, we're going to hide us real quick. Bye, chat. All right. So you take a look at this. They've got like a like Star Fox slash like Metal Gear Solid thing going on. Oh, wow. With the chat at the bottom. Yeah. It's really cool. Scream. Scream. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Straightforward to the point. We're gonna we're gonna stay hidden just because I realize that like I'm in front of the names. This is the difficulty with it. lower thirds when I live in the lower third. So, <laughs> up next we've got most creative in the Star Atlas game jam. This one goes to Rebellion by Parapluie Studio. I really like Parapluie. They do some really cool stuff. They did um. Was it was it Maya Water Park? Was that them or is that somebody else? I think There's that's been... somebody else. But that is such a I love their use of pinks and purples in this. Yeah, and they've got the, the they've got also a, a you know two D interface yeah. chat thing going on for storytelling. Looks really good. That's super rad. You don't see a whole lot of that in the sandbox yet, and when you do, it really pops. All right. And uh, I don't rem I I didn't see what the Star Atlas rules are, but uh, in general, like we've always accepted teams of uh, up to four people in a team. They made Quest of Triloga. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're both Tri laughing at the same thing right now. Triloga with an L. <laughs> with an L. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yes, they did make Quest of Triloga. Uh, that that was. Um, uh, a really pretty experience also so um <laughs> and finally we've got best overall in the star atlas game jam best overall idea goes to survival on the high risk planet by iza voxel lab 01 that makes me think there's a voxel lab 02 and that's just impressive <laughs> Oh, that, that glowy pink character is really cute. Really nice, uh, really nice textures, shapes. Whoa, look at that guy. So I haven't, I, I myself haven't had a chance to play these. We're going to need to play these over the next few. That's gorgeous. We're going to need to play these. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll play one now-ish. 
I was just gonna say, I, I feel like we we have a list of games that we now need to play. Right. So let's do this. Uh, all right. So congratulations to everybody. Just to sum up, that was uh. Well, we're gonna read here. There's me. There's Conrad. There's the chat. Uh, so to sum up, best lore went to um, Mission to Iris. We're just gonna, gonna pull them back up real quick. <laughs> Mission to Iris by DDD3. Best game design went to Exodus by RBX2. Most creative slash unique went to Rebellion by Parapluie Studio. And best overall went to Survival on the High Risk Planet by IZA Voxel Lab 01. Each of them just won 7,500 sand, three game keys for Star Atlas, as well as, I believe, four vehicles total. So, a whole bunch of cool stuff to them. Congratulations to those participants. Uh, sorry it took us so long to get there, but uh, but we did it. Uh, up next, did it. we should be having the results for the WMG Game Jam. Um, I think technically we could have them Saturday, but uh, as I know it's behind, we don't want to rush the the, the finalization process. Uh, I think we need some feedback from the WMG team. I think we can do that uh, before Saturday next week. Um, so I think we're just going to plan for that because uh, I'm pretty okay. sure we can get it done solid then. Um, all right. There was one thing that we didn't announce that I wanted to, and I forgot about. Okay. Um, one second. I am. You get all the seconds. They're all mine. All the seconds. I don't know what it, I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm excited <laughs> to hear it. Uh, let's see if I can find it. That's an old, an old thing. Where? Uh, okay here we go so on wednesday we're gonna be playing this uh gickus who's been making some really cool and exciting and interesting things in the sandbox as well as absolutely hilarious videos go and follow him here do do yeah uh says have you not heard yet sandbox is giving away fifteen thousand us dollars to the top 20 best players who can climb this high score very simple and fun game uh it's kind of it's like a like a ddr meets like rock paper scissors kind of uh you have to move your character to the left or right or forwards and back to do like the opposite of what this thing says if i understand it correctly uh so it's it's like a like it challenges you to it's kind of like a rhythm game kind of like a like rock paper scissors uh so anyway check that out um and uh you can join uh the, their discord to learn more all right we need to figure out what's going on with this hat sale and why it's not working um let's see if i can we're gonna we're, we're gonna hide here in the intro screen for a second while i bring up a work chat that i don't know what it's gonna show when i bring it up so i think that's smart <laughs> plan it ahead <laughs> just gonna hide hide my screen real quickly while i look up conversation somebody okay now i can bring it back this is the nice thing about having multiple screens I just wasn't sure where it was going to open up. Because um, <clears throat> we're talking about work stuff. You don't want to know about the boring work stuff that it's, I do. It's boring. I just, it's, yeah, just, it's totally there's boring. There's no beans there. Yeah, no beans it's at like all. It's like TPS Please. reports and yeah, type it's... faster stuff. And I don't know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, the hat sale is supposed to be live right now. But we're I'm trying to figure out why it's uh, why it's not showing up. So um 
<laughs> uh, Conrad popped into the chat for a second via <laughs> restream and he said, thank you for hiding my very boring work-related messages. Um, let's see. There's supposed to be a way on the API backend where I can see the scheduled sales. Um, Candidly, Kristen keeps trying to call you out for hitting the wrong button. She wants to hear it, but you know what? I'm I'm of the opinion that Alex is perfect. You need to stop it, Candidly, right now. The wrong button. I mean, it's it's a schedule, so I already scheduled it. It's it's uh oh wait. <laughs> 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 what was that? What was that? Oh wait, Alex. I know. I know what I did wrong. <laughs> so but you didn't hit the wrong button. I well, I forgot I was using a ledger. <laughs> oh, okay. And when okay. you go to sign on MetaMask, you can't just click sign on MetaMask. You have it ledger. You have to go to the device and click approve on the device. And I don't remember doing that. And this is one mm. of those like weird. I might not know like in the moment what I did wrong, but uh, like, I don't know if it's a side effect of my ADHD, but I have really good memory of like what I've done physically. So mm, like, same. I never, so like taking like medication, I, it's like, did I take my meds? And then I can like, remember, I don't remember the sensation of swallowing a pill today. <laughs> so, and I've never had any issues with it. I, I always get it right. So um, bear with me while I, it's you got annoying. It, dude. I, I got I got the the Nano X because it's like oh it supports like a wireless. Um, however, that doesn't work on a desktop. It only works for your phone, which is. Well, you can set it up for your desktop, but your desktop has to be Bluetooth enabled. Really? Because I believe I believe so. I couldn't figure out how to do that, and I do have Bluetooth on my desktop, so. All right, so <laughs> let's watch the Sandhelm video again. Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say no. Uh, do I have the, is this it? Sandhelm game status, is this it? Hey, let's do that. All right. Thank you, Hillary. <laughs> and Alex. Except. I need another browser window. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I just never actually authorized the sale to go live. I'm a genius. And so, so it's not that you hit the wrong button. It's that you didn't hit the right button. So I didn't, I didn't hit the different. last. I didn't hit the last button. I hit all the other buttons except the last one, the most important one. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have those winners? Would you like me to close the form out? Yes, please. I'll do that right now. And now I'm deduping slash pulling winners. All right. That actually works out nicely. I think so. When for we already did the form <laughs> like uh -oh. 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Somebody's a little behind. It's okay. All right. So we have to hit sell, not to sell, 40. All right. Sale is going to go. I'm going to tell the sale oh. to go live in like 10 minutes. Cool. I was going to say, if we do that, then we can at least get this out there. Yeah, it's going to go at live at 
2110 UTC, which is in 10 minutes from now. Okay. Okay. And it got... is set for today, and it'll be up for 24 hours. Ten. Confirm. Do so. And now I actually have to assign the ledger. The thing is, is I'm I'm pretty sure I had the ledger like plugged in and all ready to go. Okay. And I law and I I unlocked it and everything, and then I just didn't remember. Oh, I've sold so many times from my own account that I uh, uh, I'm so used to just hitting confirm on MetaMask, and it just it's done. Yeah. Right. So if this doesn't go live in ten minutes, then then something's broken. But I did I did click sign on the ledger, and it should be it should be all set. So uh, we'll see. We'll find out in 10 minutes. Hopefully it doesn't. Two sales don't go live at the same time and then runs out of stock. <laughs> <laughs> you can cancel them once they're live. You just, you can't count. You can't cancel them while they're like pending. Ah. Uh, there's, we're still working out kinks with the UX and everything. All right. Um, so. Why don't we play a game? Ooh. I like it. Oh, you got frozen. And you're back. And you said there will be how many winners for the hat this time? Five. Five winners. You got so it, dude. Four, 40 are going on sale. Five are going out to winners. And we're holding five in reserve for future purposes. We'll see. Got it. We got to keep some for, for funsies. Yeah. You got to. All right, let's go ahead and launch the game maker and see what we can find. How much sand do we need to purchase? I need to unstake some. Oh, touche, you better hurry. You need 105 sand. Touche, if you want, just shoot me a message and I'll shoot you 105 sand. I'm not going to buy it. I got it in my wallet. And it's on Ethereum, so. Just let me know. Yeah, un unstaking sand is, uh... Well, okay, if you're stake... No, you can't stake on mainnet anymore. Yeah, that's why I was... That's why I mentioned it. Unstaking can take, like, a couple hours sometimes, depending on where in the... Because Polygon only like releases it incrementally. All right. Oh, we can show off the hat real quick. And bridging. Yeah, the process of unstaking and bridging is, can can be lengthy, which is why I did I announced the price. Yesterday or today? Uh, no, yes, yesterday. I think I said people so recently. Yeah, I, I did it yesterday to make sure that people had some time if they saw it. But of course, you know, with Twitter being the way it is, you never know what you're gonna see or what's gonna be seen. All right, let's see. Oh no, I can't show it to you because it's not in my inventory anymore. Oh wait, it is. What? Where am I? <laughs> I forgot. So, uh, so I, I took this screenshot when Seb did his interview with CNN, 
I made this little scene to like show them what the avatar would look like. And I used oh, yeah. uh, I used this little invisible character that we used for making videos. <laughs> I forgot. That's a really cool set. There we go. So um this is what it looks like in 0 0.7. Colors are a bit more saturated in 0 0.8. But uh, I think it looks good in both versions. It's got the little bubble, bubble, bubble. How many purple Wizzy hats remain? Um, I think we're now at about like 40, 45, something like that. I can check. Hat will not make you invisible in game. <laughs> that was a specific character. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's see. Purple hats. We are. Oh, well, we got fifty left. Exactly fifty. I thought we had given away more than that. All right, we got fifty left. Alrighty, I got those winners for you. Okie doke. Who are the winners of Matchmaker's Bewitching Hat? One second. I need to actually figure out which column is which because I'm a little confused. One moment. There we go. Okay, got it now. <laughs> uh, one of the questions on the forum is who's your favorite? like fictional character or literary character or television character. And uh, the first answer I went on could have been a username or somebody from like the answer to the question. So I wasn't sure which column I was looking at. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Over on YouTube, we have Mikuragua. I just, I am terrible, but this is the name. <laughs> Did you paste it in the in the chat? Yeah. It's M I K U R A and it just disappeared. Where did it go? M I K U R A G U A. Not really sure how to say it, but congratulations, you won. Oh, my uh, uh restream chat's like super delayed. It was for me too. I, I typed it and it went into it. And then all of a sudden it like disappeared and the three lines above it disappeared. And now all of a sudden it all loaded back up and it's back again. I just, I refreshed it. So. All right. Okay, next. There we go. The next winner on the list is. <laughs> oh. Congratulations goes out to Ice Pilot X7 over on Twitch. His favorite literary character is John Luke Picard, and I have to say, or fictional character. That's a good one. That's definitely a good one. Uh, next we have ooh, Life Made Me over on Twitch. Congrats, Paul. His the answer his answer to the question was Batman. Um I am Batman. That was terrible. It was more like a Megatron or something voice. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it was an today. impressive voice. It just didn't sound like Batman. No, it didn't sound anything like <laughs> Next winner is Artemcom1. And his favorite character is Robin Hood. I like that answer. And last but not least, over on Twitch TV... Their answer to the question was Luis from Bob's Burgers. Congratulations <laughs> goes out to Lula Love Nine. You have won the Matchmaker's Bewitching Hat. All right. So somebody asked how it looks like, how it looks on a Care Bear. Um, I don't Amazing know is the answer. Well, probably. Let's uh, let's become a Care Bear here. How many avatars do you have? Too many to use. 
That's, <laughs> There's so many like avatar answer. specific events. I'm like, I need to have some of all of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel you. I've got a good number. All right. Uh, mm. I feel like. Let's go. Let's go with this one. The uh, there's a new interface. Like you can see, it's it's a lot fancier now for the avatars. You get more of a view. The color rendering's better. You can zoom in and out. Oh wow! I'm gonna need to reload the chat here for a second. So nobody's saying anything to me. One moment, please. We need to get oh. the uh, the Voxidase backgrounds working. I don't know if we can. That'd be cool, though. The sale is now live, according to VVox. Hey! All right. So if you want to pick one of these up. Okay, keep in mind that the total left probably does not update as fast as they actually sell. Um, so it said that there were 40 left, but given the fact that there's already people saying that they're buying them, that number is probably old already. I see um, 27 left. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. And uh, let's go back to the avatar, and we can take a look at what it looks like on a Care Bear. I think uh, some the the Im equipment's been kind of hit or miss with the the characters lately. We're trying to update the system to support more kinds of equipment for more sizes of characters. So. It's, um, like that it's but there's going to be some growing pains in the middle of it so one of these days i am going to run in, around inside of the sandbox <laughs> in an iron giant it's happening did you see what i said which which time just now <laughs> still no alpha pass no no i asked chat gpt to describe how beautiful lucas is it crashed it was too hard to put into words that was by ayz or A's. I said A's. Oh, I thought you said ice. No. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Thank you, A's. I appreciate you. All right, let's see what it looks like on a Care Bear. So I reloaded the restream chat and it's working fine now. Yeah, I did that too. I think it's uh so I'm using it embedded into OBS because OBS has like panels. So when you okay. log into restream on OBS, it'll actually load in the chat and everything, like has a panel of the window, which is actually really nice. Uh but I think it's getting overwhelmed, like with the mm. amount of chat. Y'all are talking too much, is what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> how dare you <laughs> no it's 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 great um there we go i'm surprised i still see that in my inventory actually it's adorable <gasps> the ears pop through <laughs> what did i say it's gonna be perfect i was right so good <laughs> dropping it like it's hot is there any other way All right. So, uh, we were going to play one of these Star Atlas games. Which one should we play? You know, Which one honestly, do you want to see? I think we should just work. Let's, let's add them all to the list and work our way through it. Because okay. I thought all of them looked super rad. Right. I mean, yeah. I think they're somewhere around the 50s right now.
Just gotta look for the star atlas. <laughs> Can we see the hat on a party people avatar? Um, I don't know if it will change my avatar without restarting the game maker, but I can switch to. It won't. A party person. Um, I imagine. I think the ears are gonna be kind of like too high out the top of the hat, based on where they're placed. Um. I'm gonna. I want to pick something where the color contrasts. We'll go with this one. All right, uh, this is on-chain monkey jam. So, oh, you know, I was thinking of the on-chain monkey jam when I said the 50s, so. Star Atlas is actually more recent. <laughs> I could open 0 0.8. And check mm -hmm. the publishing dates there, but is the search function? Well, I'm in zero point seven right now, so oh, that's not available. The, so search? the search function isn't available. Gotcha. The search is is a new zero point eight feature, I, but these figured, games were yeah. made in zero point seven, so I want to played in 0 0.7 to ensure compatibility. Gotcha. Maybe they're even further back. I don't I don't think they'd be this far forwards. <laughs> All right, we're going to we're going to jump way back. Atari game jam. That was forever ago. That was a good one. It's Ragnarok funny, I've started associating uh, like different moments in my life with what game jam was going on at that time. <laughs> Touche says, nice roll on the hat. Absolutely. I was very yeah. happy with that roll. Yeah. It was two That's... points short of perfect. That's stellar. Okay, I I don't I think we're way too far back, so we're gonna Where are old Star Atlas Game Jam games? I see WMG Game Jam. <laughs> Conrad says some games are missing again, so it should be somewhere in the 30s. So, yeah, some games have been getting uh, filtered because they're, like, too old. Uh, there's also... Um, as some games are getting prepared for seasons, um, changes to the to their metadata makes actually like bumps them around where they are in the publishing timeline. So, uh, towards the start of a season, you might see some stuff get shuffled around. The Holy Mountain. Power Row Game Jam. That was a really long time ago. It was like yesterday. <laughs> uh, I didn't see anything for Star Atlas in the 30s. If 
somebody wants to f oh here we go star atlas game jam we are looking for mission to iris right here by ddd3 this was the winner of best lore when can you see the WYSIverse? it's it's a work in progress Mud Faction Leader Bjork. Good day, Kamisasi. I just arrived from the HQ. It's been a while since you've served as a soldier here in the PK Nebula outpost. So I think it's time for you to be promoted into Commander rank and take over the lead of this place. But what about Commander Ron? Good question. Did you say be... Captain Ron? Commander Ron. Oh. Good question. He'll be coming back with me to the HQ. I need him there. Now go ahead and talk to him. He will explain to you more de uh, details about your promotion test mission. I need a hat. Wait. I thought we were supposed to talk to Ron, but I don't... Ah! Are you ready for your promotion test mission? For this mission, you will be heading to the Cataclysm area at Iris. There you will need to collect some valuable minerals. Minerals? 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 Mm -hmm. That we Those will things. use to upgrade this outpost. Iris is a high risk zone. Expect to get some. Uh, to get assaulted from the Booster and Oni. Therefore, you need to be well prepared. I. So I didn't, I didn't not participate in the judging of the Star Atlas game jam. I know next to nothing about Star Atlas except that it looks very pretty and has some really cool looking vehicles. So I was not qualified to judge on the the lore uh, accuracy, but this is this is what the judges agree. So I'm guessing it's dropping a lot of names of like actual factions and stuff in the game. Mm -hmm. Uh. As a preparation, I need you to help Kai to install an advanced communication device for your fleet. Ask Cat's help to craft some portable equipment for your mission. Kai and Cat. The Cataclysm area has a special frequency that can't be reached with a normal communication device. Can you help me with this? There's a small private research laboratory down the hill. Professor Lin is there stocking a bunch of Hycenium. The material that I need to complete the installation. So I want you to kindly ask her for some. She might want you to do her some favor in return, though. I feel like she's definitely going to ask for a favor in return. Well, this Seems like a cute. solid guess. They 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 look kind of like like rabbits, sort of. It's like if a rabbit and a kangaroo had a had a baby. Yeah, a rabbaroo. <laughs> pending. Uh, I'm guessing that's the lab down here. Oh, I can't jump down that way. <laughs> they did say down the hill. How do you get down the hill? Or maybe, maybe I just didn't. I didn't go far enough along the cliff. I've gotten so used to no fall damage, I just jump off of things all the time with like zero regard for my legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. I just did. <laughs> Are the jellyfish dangerous? I mean, no. no, you should go touch them. I am touching them. Oh, dang it. I was kind of not so secretly hoping they were dangerous. <laughs> Professor Lin, what do you need? Explain the situation. Ah, so you need some Hycenium. I have a bunch of those, but I want you to do something in return. Bring me eight samples of glowing mushroom and four fainted jellyfish. So I guess I gotta attack these. Get back here. What? I. That's new. I didn't know I could do that. Oni Fleet Wreck? Wait, oh. Because I interacted with that. 
Did so you wreck I... an entire fleet? No, no, no. It was already down there. I just I when I went to pick up the uh the jellyfish, I also interacted, inspected the uh the wreck. So if I'm if I'm holding run forwards and I keep on spamming attack, I actually like float up on top of them. I I'm not jumping when I do this. I feel like that's something that I haven't seen before. I didn't know that could happen. Tastes like chicken. Oh, Rabaru tastes like chicken. Maybe. When I had jellyfish, it was with chicken, so I guess it could have been Rabaru and jellyfish instead. Oh. So that comment was by Sanzus, and he's uh, my partner over at Voxel Ocean, and the animating slash art genius behind uh, a lot of our incredible assets and sand helm and all the projects we work on over at Voxel Ocean. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, this one's this one's mad. <laughs> that one fights back. It's golden too. I mean, I feel like you kind of gotta punch it in the face a few times just for being so ostentatious. <laughs> I don't want to mess with it yet. I feel like it might be important later. Nah, fair enough. All right, got the Hycenium. Go back. Okay, robot is working on this thing, I guess. Now we gotta talk to Cat. How can I help you, Kamisazi? I need some portable equipment for my mission to Eris. Sure, I can help you with that. I will craft you some portable turrets to protect you while mining. I need you to get me nine diamonds to make it happen. You can find the ores everywhere. Take this pickaxe with you. Okay. The game is taking too long to register your new hat. Oh no. Uh, yeah, sometimes it can take a bit for it to it to show up. But as long as you can see it in OpenSea, you're good. It will show up. That pickaxe you're using right now, is that from the game itself or did you have that in your inventory already? Nope, they gave it to us along with the instruction to press I to uh, to open up the inventory. Mm. So we gave, gave a nice little tutorial for it. I like it. We need two more. PG Metaverse OG points out that Star Atlas is a mining game. Hmm. All right, we now have our diamonds. Great work. Take this. Now I need to, around eight tenon to craft some automated mining tools for you. The Damores around here should be dropping it. 
I don't know what either of those things are. Uh, is that what these things are? Oh, now they're aggressive. Yes. <laughs> that's that's what they are. Aha. I was like, it's the only thing that we haven't interacted with. Well, this one's not aggressive. I just murdered it. Panapop says, Star Atlas currently isn't a game. It's got staking of your ships, but gameplay features will come soon enough. Well, you can fly yeah. around, can't you? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure I've seen Joe flying his ship. That's that's playing, right? Yeah, so I think like... so. Sometimes I like just flying around. They have the beta. Is the beta open still? don't have answers to any of your questions. I have failed you. Yes, there is a showroom. Yeah, that's I, uh, pretty sure you can you can like fly through rings and stuff and it like shoot down some like little balloons. Ooh, like Star Fox. Yeah, it's 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 like a like a flight training kind of thing. Oh, OK. It looks really nice. That hat, I agree. <laughs> Are there any of those left now? I was actually looking for the link, but I couldn't find it because it's too far back, and I don't know. Um. Candidly, Kristen says there are 15 left. Hoddle says Thank 14. You. Oh, no, it's counting down. Talk to Commander Ron. It's Captain Ron. It's not. Ca it's not. Ca it's never been Captain Ron. <laughs> it's Commander. <laughs> Why do you keep changing it? <laughs> I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> this is the second time you've done that. <laughs> there was a movie called Captain Ron back in the 90s and it was oh. terrible I'm just making a bad reference to an even worse movie I was wondering uh. why because I'd never heard of this before <laughs> uh. Uh, Kwaku Alston says I did not win the raffle but picked up three for my fu future virtual girlfriends lol wow oh, that's, 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 a, that's quite a collection <laughs> Question of hats or girlfriends? I mean, both. <laughs> okay, impressive. Those are some lofty aspirations for is the it, future, that's, right? That's a... Those are rookie numbers. You got to pump them up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair enough. <laughs> that's a that's another movie reference. Oh, which one was that? That's from Wolf on Wall Street. Oh. I'm not going to go into details about what that those numbers are referring to in that scene. See, now uh, I know. <laughs> nice one, Kamisazi. Now that you are well prepared, you can use your fleet and travel to the Cataclysm area at Iris whenever you're ready. Remember, it's a higher risk zone, so be safe. Ooh. I only have five. I will HP. not be safe. All right. Go bold. Let's travel. Oh, wait. Maybe I should have fought that golden thing. Ooh. Is it too late? Can you go back? I don't know. Lester and Oni are already here fighting each other. I could use this as an opportunity to finish both of them. Is that genocide? I don't think so. That's just tactical advantage. Are they actually... I think they're actually damaging each other. <laughs> no, they're dummy. Oh, they're not actually stupid. damaging each other, but they're just fighting. They're just they're just punching each other for zero damage. <laughs> ah, 
Ha! This resources the resources are all mine now. Mud for the win. Alright, I better set up the portable turrets first now. Good. Now to plant the automated mining tools. That's kind of cool. I'm expecting like, like like a wave tower defense kind of thing to start happening now. I'm not. I don't know what's gonna happen next. Oh no! Incoming assaults. Where? Ah. The turret's actually attacking them. Oh. Oh, that killed me really fast. Wait. Was this giving me damage? Nope. Ah, they're shooting at me. I don't know if I can block that. Ah! No, my crystals. The stars are moving. I think it's... It might be more of like a mist. Oh. Well, I think we're like on an asteroid kind of thing. So this is probably all like the space dust around us. Which it would be cool to see this in 0 0.8 when you can do like actual particle effects like in the environment. I was just thinking that. Okay. And no, this is not a Star Atlas hat. This is the hat that's currently on sale in the marketplace as part of uh, a Valentine's. Little. It's not not really an event. It's just the hat. Mm. But who knows? Maybe the hat will unlock things later on. I mean, we already know for a fact that it's going to unlock at least two extra girlfriends for Waku Alston. Was that who it was? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I almost sprayed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when you know it's good. Automated mining tool slots should all be full now. I better get back ASAP. We're gonna collect all of our stuff. Well done, Kamisazi. You have proven your quality. From now on, this PK Nebula outpost will be under your command. Congratulations, Commander. All right, that's it. So uh, we got 17 out of 17 quests, so I don't think killing the golden jellyfish was something that we needed to do. I wonder if it would have mm. dropped a special item. I guess you have to play yourself to find out. All right. Well, we've been live for an hour and a half. I think we're going to add these other Star Atlas games to our list of stuff to do. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to be playing the Ridzy Scholarship by Gikis. So Ooh. check that out. There's a 15,000 US dollar prize pool for, I think it was the top 20 people on the scoreboard. So check that out. Uh, that's on page one, very first slot in the drafts gallery. So definitely go take a look at that. And uh, congratulations to all of our Star Atlas Game Jam winners. We will be back with the WMG Jam Awards, I believe, Saturday next week. That's the that's the plan for right now. Um, and so not the 18th, but the 25th. Yeah, I was thinking the 18th, but uh, we want to make sure that WMG has a chance to like get in all their votes and stuff, and make sure we're all okay. aligned on everything. So we're gonna plan for the 20th. So this Saturday, we will be playing more games. Yeah. I like it. All right. Have a great... I almost said have a great weekend, everybody. It's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> this is going to mess me up for the whole rest of the week. <laughs> have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.